Carly. I'm Cynthia. And this is Essential Oils 101. So essentially what this is, is an introduction into what the oils are, who we are, and how you can either use them in your daily life or how you can use them in time to build a business if that's something that you're interested in doing. So before we dive into the content of the presentation, which is really just gonna be about 10 to 15 minutes, we wanna share a little bit about our story, about who we are and why we're doing this work. And first off, if you don't can't see it, this is my mom. So it's really a wonderful, beautiful blessing to be able to do work alongside my mom. And one thing that I wanna say about her is that my mom's an early adopter, so she was organic and gluten-free in the 80s before that was even a thing. And me, I kind of needed a little bit more time to, to ease into that lifestyle. So I remember a story when I was like, I don't know, maybe eight, eight or nine, and my mom switched us over to organic milk. And she brought it in and I said, I don't want that milk. I want the milk that everyone else is drinking. And she was explaining, well, you know, there's, there's hormones and antibiotics and they add certain things to conventional milk that I don't want my, my babies to have. And I said, well, I just want what everyone else has. I don't want that organic milk. And fast forward, uh, you know, 20 years and I actually have an online health coaching business, carlyshankman.com, where I teach people how to live a real food and um, organic lifestyle about how to really nourish their body and their mind and their spirit with whole foods from the earth. So my mom's been doing this for a long time and now what she really is is an expert who teaches other people how to become experts when it comes to their own health and wellness and vitality. And her, her platform for that is Young Living Essential Oils. So, you know, with the oils too, it was one of those things where she uh, had wanted me to use them. And as a teenager, I needed to find my own way to them. So I needed a tool that I could share with my clients that allowed them to get toxic products out of their home, that allowed them to get high quality nutrition products that provided emotional support and support for uh, the endocrine system, for the hormonal system. And so after time, I kind of, came around to the oils and now we get to share them together. So do you want to share a little bit of just about your journey to the oils? Sure, sure. When I first started using essential oils, I actually thought that I was getting something to replace hormone destructing perfume, which I knew I didn't want to use. I had no idea that it could help my family with their emotional wellness, with their physical wellness and support all lots of body systems. Over a short period of time, I sort of discovered that. And when I saw and used my four kids, sort of as guinea pigs, which was kind of fortunate, yes. they started to work. I started to share them with my neighbors and my friends, and they began to work. Um, and so I decided to share them with other people. And um, in that piece, I've had really wonderful success in seeing people change. They've had success in changing, and I feel very satisfied in helping other people change and discover alternative ways. So it's been an exciting journey and I'm really excited to be able to be part of this um, video because this is a way to get this information out to even more people. More people who um, want to have this information but don't have access to it or who've had a little bit of information and want more. Yeah. 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 So thank you for being here, for tuning in and we're going to dive right into the content. Yeah. So maybe let's start with just sharing about, you know, what are essential oils and why is Young Living um, different from other essential oils because I know a lot of my clients say oh well I'll just go to the store and get peppermint and then we need to share the difference between the different qualities so what are oils how do we use them and what's the difference yeah there's a huge difference in essential oils so the essential oils they're the lifeblood of the plant the same way we have blood that flows our, through our body taking oxygen and nutrients, the lifeblood of the plant is the essential oil. And when we can harvest that the essential oil out of the plant, it can help us the same way it helps the plant. Yeah, and it's from, it's from the leaves, from the roots, from the bark, from the stem. I always like to think of essential oils as plant bud. And so it's plant medicine. That's, that's the way that I keep it in my mind in order to know that I'm nourishing my body with plant matter, which that's what I want to eat, that's what I want to put on my body, in my body, so yeah. 
plant blood. <laughs> and so what is the difference then between Young Living or someone going to, you know, their local health food store to buy peppermint oil? Well, okay, for that question, I just want to take you back a little bit um, to some information. There are four different kinds of qualities of essential oils in the world today. Okay. The first one is synthetic. And there's no health benefits to those. Those are made in a factory and they're used just for basically scent and candles. Mm -hmm. The second kind of essential oil is food grade. And those also, although they can be consumed, there's really not a health benefit to those, and those are synthetic also. The third kind that you can find are the ones that you find in the health food store. And although these, those might smell pretty good, they might have extracting chemicals in them, and if you put those chemicals on your body, you're kind of defeating the purpose. Yeah, because so it's all about getting the toxicity out of your body. Right, not yeah. putting it on. Yeah. And the fourth kind is what we're talking about here today, which is Young Living Essential Oils. Now, Young Living Essential Oils has something, a propriety promise, and it's called Seed to Seal. In the notes below, we're going to give you the Seed to Seal website, and you can go there and actually see this process. And what this means is that um, they actually start with seeds that are very pure, organic, and non-GMO. They move through cultivating, putting it into pure soil. They don't use any kind of chemicals on their plants. In fact, they don't even weed except by hand. And then they cut, they cut them at the right time of day. For instance, Carly, did you know the lanulain flower? It gives oil to the flower during the time of day from sunrise until 10 a.m. At 10 a.m., the oils recede from the flower and you can't get any more. So Young Living understands, let's cut the flower at that proper time of day and not before or after that. So there's a lot of wisdom that goes into this. Um, and then finally, how to bottle it, put it into dark bottles, and also before bottling is testing. They test each and every batch to make sure the chemical components, the good chemicals, are all there to help us with our bodies. Brilliant. I love it. And, I, you know, the other thing that I always like to remember is that essential oils have been used for 5,000 years. I mean, they're quoted as being used in the Bible. They've been used since the beginning of time. And so I always like to look to what my ancestors did or my ancestors' ancestors. So the fact that this is not just, yeah, maybe essential oils are trending right now because people are waking up to the power of using holistic products in their life. But these have been around for, you know, for 5,000 years. So. How about the biblical story of frankincense and myrrh being brought to the Christ child. Yes. How about ancient history, even before that, being shown that um, the Greeks used them, the Roman Empire used them, Chinese used them. Mm -hmm. They were used throughout history. Yes. It's a beautiful thing. And now we're fortunate enough to harvest these oils again in a very pure and modern way for our benefit. And I think, you know, really one of the aspects that's allowing these um, oils to explode right now is that it's not just about the oils. It's not just about um, replacing your perfume or skin care. They're really, create, Young Living has really created a lifestyle product line. So, I, you know, I fell and I knocked my teeth out in college and I am so, so um, specific with what I put in my mouth, on my teeth, on my gums, and the Thieves line is really one of the only things that I will use. And they have, like I mentioned, they have the nutrition products so I can get my supplementation. I'm leaving on a one-way flight, a one-way trip around the world, and my natural medicine kit is are only essential oils. I use it for my shampoo, I use it for my face wash, I use it um, to diffuse, the, I use it to diffuse and to create a certain environment in my home, wherever I am. And so it's beautiful because it's not just this luxury product that I'm adding into my life, but instead I'm replacing the natural products that I'm using in my home already. Cleaners, toothpaste, you know, all mouthwash, my mouthwash shampoo, um, you know, I'm making homemade bug spray and, and sunscreen, and it's really replacing the items that I'm already, I already have in my house. Mm -hmm. So another question that I get often is, who can use the oils? So I have a lot of natural mamas in my world who are having babies or they're pregnant or they have their parents who they really want to naturally support. So uh, are the oils only for a certain demographic or is there anyone that we shouldn't use the oils with? Well, first of all, let's start with pregnancy. Essential oils can absolutely be used safely in pregnancy. There are a few not to use, but it's easy to, to find the ones not to use. Um, then they're used on babies. We always dilute when we use them on babies. They're used for school-aged children for lots of support, immune-boosting support, and 
lots of different things and we also use them for adults and senior citizens and even our pets can use them. Oh yeah, my, my dog Maddie, she, the vet told me she's allergic to grass, which is a thing, and her paws get really, really itchy when she's out running around. So I always put a little bit of lavender oil on her paws after she comes back inside, and that's really one of the number one things that, that has helped her. And, and lavender is really like the Swiss army knife of oils. If you, got, if you got just lavender, you'd probably be really well taken care of, at least to start diving, diving into the oils. But um, that's, that's another thing. So with the lavender oil, um, I use something called a carrier oil. And a carrier oil is to dilute the oils, because some of them you don't either want to put, be putting directly on your skin, or you would go through the oils really quickly if you were just using them, they're, they're so incredibly potent, so you'd go through the oils quickly. So we use something called the carrier oil in order to dilute the oils and make them last longer or for specific different ways that we would be using them on our body. So sure. what, can, what, would, what are like the most popular three carrier oils that people use? And does that come from Young Living? Young Living has a carrier oil called V6. It's an organic oil and it contains six vegetable oils. It comes with a pump and it's really, really nice. In your own home, you probably have olive oil, coconut oil, grapeseed oil, or even almond oil. Those are more than three, but there, there's many of them. So the nature of Young Living asks you to enroll with someone you know. So it's, it's about growing a network of people who are like-minded, who are supporting one another, and who are moving towards this holistic natural lifestyle. So you can't really just go online and buy them. You need to be referred by someone. You need to have someone enroll you into it. So how does someone go about getting these oils? If they like what they're carrying, they're ready to get started, you know, do they buy one oil? Where, where do we go from there? Well, Young Living knew that um, essential oils are something to learn about, so they created a couple of kits to uh, help people get started. So yeah. we, have, we have the basic starter kit, we have the premium starter kit, the Ninja Red kit, or the Thieves kit. Mm -hmm. So, and I have found, at least the way that I entered in, was to, with the premium starter kit. And the reason was, was that I got the diffuser, 11 different oils, it really gave me an opportunity to dive into what Young Living had to offer. And that kit is $300 worth of value for $160. And the reason they do that is because they want you to dive in and try the products out. So we're gonna go over and hop into another video. Now you understand what the oils are, who we are, why we love them. And in the next video, we will actually unpack our premium starter kit so you can see exactly what's included in each box. Anything left to add? No, that's it. Awesome working with you, Carly. Yeah, you too. Thank you so much. We'll see you next time.